Hello. Let's play with tape. After my big project to create art and a travel blog related to my trip to Scotland, it was time for something completely different. And I goofed around and experimented with using tape to create some sketchbook spreads. I blobbed in some reds and pinks and purples, covered them with some random chaotic tape, covered all of that with black acrylic, and then peeled up the tape. It was actually pretty hard to get off after several layers of different colors of paint and the black acrylic, but this is how it ended up. And some of the tape remnants will make an appearance in another spread. I mixed up some bright acrylics until I got a muted, muddy, brownish, grayish purple. And that's the background for my next illustration. This little guitarist sketch I used as reference for this piece, but it had been my practice sketch for my Glasgow spread in my Scotland travel journal. I'll show you that one in a little bit. I loved this guy. He was playing Led Zeppelin, wearing purple pants in the streets of Glasgow. Does it get any cooler than that? For this piece, I put down some strips of scotch tape, leaving little gaps in between each strip. And then I'm using some Neocolor 2's water-soluble crayons to draw the image of the guitarist. And you'll see in a minute, I go over that with water and all of the neo color kind of dissolves and sticks to the tape. I wasn't sure how well it would adhere to the tape, but it worked just fine. The peeling has begun. It was pretty hard to peel this off. I was worrying about it all coming apart. And there's those huge gaps in between the strips that just make it very fragile. tried to stick it to paper and rearrange the strips a little bit to make them vertical. And I really liked the effect that I achieved with this. Kind of weird, but I think it has kind of a cool energy and a cool abstracted quality. I trimmed it down a little and arranged it in my sketchbook with the practice sketch and the tape remnants. And there's the Scotland Travel Journal kit. I decided to try pretty much the same technique again, this time with a fox. You'll see I kind of messed up. I didn't actually leave very many gaps in the tape.
I put on a few finishing touches before it was healing time again. My tape ineptitude there made me want to try it at least one more time and I was very strategic in how I laid down the tape this time. I left some gaps between horizontal pieces of tape to suggest the stripings of this orange, black, and white tiger and it took me a lot of fiddling around until I got a design of a tiger face that I liked but I ended up really liking this piece and I think it did justice to the gap in the tape technique as well. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air condition done yet people because it's peeling time this one was really the hardest one to get off because the stripes were going in different directions and it kept sort of collapsing upon itself and sticking to itself but I pretty much managed Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. <laughs>